Sarah Moronio. I am Slug Magazine's managing editor and also columnist, writes Beautiful Godzilla every month. We, this is our first annual Slug Cat Alley Cat race. An Alley Cat is basically a scavenger hunt that you do with your bicycle. Um, we gave the racers a manifest. They uh, had a bunch of stops on them. They had to complete tasks of each stop and uh, then come back here to Este from Fresh. Hey, uh, my name is Alex and I am trying to finish the race for uh, coming last. Dead fucking last. <laughs> I'm here to ride a bike ride. Uh, I like seeing everyone out. It's a blast to ride through the city. Kind of an excuse to ride a little reckless. Um, no, I like to see all the different people come out. Hopefully no one will well, it's Slug's first annual uh, Alley Cat, and this will be my first. I figured, you know, why not try it out? And uh, I had some friends that were all going to come, and then they bailed out, so <laughs> it's just going to be me, but it'll be fun. You're always looking to win. I'm just looking to uh, hopefully do okay and uh, not come in last place, I guess, <laughs> and just have fun, really. So I am here to have a good time, to hang out with my friends, to ride my bike downtown on this glorious sunny day here in Salt Lake City. And once I get the manifest, I am going to do the best that I can to find a good plan to either, you know, come in last or first. Plan of action. Hopefully it's, uh, it's one I can follow pretty well. I know the spots and then also just try and follow the fast guys. So plan of action after I get the manifest is actually take a minute, check it out, maybe write some stuff down, pass alley cats and tend to either overreact, ride off, slam into a curb and get a flat, or go in the wrong direction quite a bit. <laughs> so actually thinking it out for a minute might help out. You get in the moment and you forget where you're going. It hurts a little bit, but you keep riding. Um, my name is Christian Clemens. I'm uh, owner operator at uh, Loki Cycles, a uh, local uh, custom bike building company. I wanted to support it because I could, you know. Uh, I mean, I think anybody helping out, you know, everybody kind of doing their part. There's a lot of people that, that helped out to, to put this all together, and uh, uh, more people that do, the, the better, cooler it becomes. And uh, I was able to, you know, to help out, offer some prizes and some. Uh, organization, promotion, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that I could. From the race, I'm expecting a few injuries, a lot of sweat. I'll finish somewhere in the middle, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, to have a good time, yeah. My name is Eric Poole and I came in dead fucking last. Boy, it was great. I passed so many people and all of a sudden there was no one. It was like riding in the desert, but I got a helmet because I'm cool. My name is Jesse Gilmore. I came in first place women's and I love bikes. <laughs> it was actually more fun than I expected. <laughs> Um, I have raced in Alley Cats for a few years here in Salt Lake and I, when she said it was point based I was like oh it's not going to be very competitive but everybody still just like killed it and it was still very competitive all the way through the end despite the point based system which was awesome. Favorite checkpoint? Probably Dirty Sanchez shot with Mike Brown. We had a few laughs, we had some deep deep talks about you know parenting and whatnot. It, it was so rewarding. That's all. My favorite checkpoint was probably the bar because everybody had to just stop and chat for a while. You had to wait in line to take a terrible shot and that gives you time to just like breathe, which is usually frustrating, but again, because of the point-based system, we're cool. So that's probably the bar, yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna aim for second to dead fucking last and that way I'll probably just steal the helmet from the next person and I'll just be like, all right, cool. 
Because the celebrity fame is just terrible. Yes, definitely. Yeah, this is the year of the bike, and we're proud to be part of it.